Smart Lord. Hey YouTube, what's up? It's Bree, aka B Breezy, back with another video. Today's video will be about the application process, the hiring process, and orientation at USPS. So if that's what you're here for, stay tuned. But first, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up, you know, you know, drop them questions below. What videos you want to see next, all that good stuff. I got you. All right, let's get into the video. Okay, y'all, so I got my notes below. So if y'all keep seeing me look down, it's just to reference my notes so I'm not rambling because, yeah. Okay, so first topic is how to apply to the USPS. I'm going to drop that link in my description box so y'all can literally hop right on the site and get straight into it after this video if y'all are interested. So it's gonna be in my description box. But when you click that link, simply scroll and then you're going to click apply. So when you get into the application process, first you're gonna go to the search bar, there's a little search bar and you're gonna type your location preference because once you do that, it's gonna list all the jobs that's available. Once you do that, you're gonna make an account and begin to fill out the application. Now, depending on which job you apply for, they're gonna tell you things like the pay and et cetera. Also, um, certain jobs require an assessment. The assessments are not, in my opinion, hard. Um, they take about 20 minutes or so. The assessments I applied for was just like, they were asking certain questions about mail, and all you really have to do is pay attention to the things like zip codes, etc. Yeah, it was fairly easy. For me personally, I applied uh, like September 22nd or 28th of um, 2021, and I received the job offer on October 2nd. So once you get um, the job offer, everything is going to be via email. So you might hear me say that a couple of times, everything, the whole process is gonna be through via email. When you get these emails, I was calling it steps. Basically it's gonna be like a series of additional information, things that they want from you that they're gonna communicate via email and you're gonna you know answer it whatever it requires of you just a couple examples was the accept or decline offer job offer email what else and things like a background check these are the things they're gonna ask of you ask you to fill out get done so you can get this thing on the road so if all that clears and you know you ain't no mass murderer nothing crazy like that you will then schedule an appointment for your, your fingerprints. I went to take my fingerprints. This is the first time I went up to the building. So I went to the building. There was a long line of people there for the same reason. And we just waited in line. I'll include pictures of certain stuff. They asked us, you know, our shift preference, dates that we might need off. And after we filled that out, we continued in the line until we made it to the counter. And then that's when they asked for our um, fingerprints. So, you know, scan. And they literally told us they'll get back to us within a couple of weeks. So after waiting those couple of weeks, they finally emailed me once again. And in this email, they gave me the date and the time of orientation. In this email, I got on November 16th. So the total amount in time at this point was about a month and a half. So for me, I guess my process was fairly quick. I know that there are people that said they waited months on end, but for me, it was quick. Now, boom, it's orientation. They send you an email of what to wear, what not to wear, etc. And Dang. And um, I'm gonna tell you what I actually 
wore. I'm gonna include some clips of that now. So this was the shoe I wore. I'm not good at like tennis shoe names. So I just know these were Jordans and they say 23 on the back. And this was the outfit I actually wore. Just a plain black top to match some black slacks. And I had my tennis shoes on with it as well. As y'all can see, what I wore wasn't exactly like what they were talking about in the picture. You know, the first day I was really panicking. I was like, oh my God, like, I don't even have the perfect shoes, whatever. But I was like, you know what? I'm gonna go in with what's closest and see what happens. I saw everybody wearing literally the chillest clothes, like hoodies, sweatpants, regular sneakers. And after that, I came back dressed, however, and you know, that was okay. During the orientation, y'all gonna go over that booklet of information, which should be like things like rules, benefits, etc basic job info after orientation they pretty much gave us like a day off which was cool because it was thanksgiving so very appreciative of that and then we pretty much started work one thing i do want to say about the whole application process all the way up to orientation is i actually had to personally reach out to different people which was hard to do because when you do receive these series of emails you're not getting contact information like that of people you can call so i was actually having to go on google research like the building get numbers call people all to find out and the reason why i was waiting was because they had me for the dc location i don't know how the people that were emailing me originally were in the DC location. So I kept getting told, you know, just wait, just wait. But I finally got in contact with someone who was like, oh yeah, you've been contacting the people for the DC location and I'm trying to work in Baltimore. But if you find yourself waiting far too long, I would personally suggest to get in contact with who you can so that you can make sure everything is fine within the process of your application because baby it's already a long process we're not trying to make it any longer i mean that's pretty much gonna be the entire process straightforward wait go do this go i would definitely suggest that when you get that original job offer do not quit whatever job you're working because you think you're gonna be in there like in a week or two no my dummy self quit my job so i ended up having to depend on uber not everybody you know has these options and availability once again that's all the info i have to offer uh today is my third yeah third day um working at the post office if y'all want a video on what it's actually like when you get within the workforce i don't know i might be using military terms but y'all get my point once you go to work i'll give y'all a bunch of information on that and thank y'all so much for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe and most important be breezy peace y'all i'm actually about to go to work <laughs>